Guys, we're testing out the Glock 17 BB gun and we want to compare it to all the other Glock models we own. We picked this up during our Cabela's shopping vlog in Buda, Texas, and we want to know, is this just as good as all the other Glock models? This one is blowback. So you can see right here, we have velocities of 365 blowback, CO2 powered, steel BB, 18 round mag, drop free mag. I never understand what drop free mag means. Riker is doing I this because he thinks he knows. Go ahead. Because it may fall out, like press the, the mag release. Yeah, mag release, it will just fall out. Guys, let us know if he's right. And if he's not, I need to know what that means. And why he's doing that, I'll kind of go over a couple of these models. This is our non blowback Glock 19. The only difference between this one and this one is BB gun versus airsoft. This is airsoft blowback CO2 powered Glock 19X. That thing out, oh dude, that's metal right there. Really, really hard plastic. I love the Glock logos all over that. Just pops right out. It's very, very similar to a half blowback model. See, so half blowback always seem to have like the slide that stays right there. This is a half blowback, same way that inside is. Now a full blowback is a bit different, similar to a, this is a full blowback. This may be just a half blowback, which is nothing wrong with that at all. But that's also probably why it was under $100. Since these are both half blowback models, Airsoft Magazine, try that out just to see if they... So you can have two mags. Technically, they work, but no, they don't work. Because remember, Airsoft BBs are six millimeter. These are 4.5 millimeters. The Glock 19X is lighter than the 17? Yep. Well, probably because it's Airsoft. Probably. I don't know if that would make a whole lot of difference. Here, check this out. It is light, but it's almost the same though. Really, really close, but yeah, this is just slight. You can tell this is slightly heavier. And this is one thing about half blowbacks. They, they always have this weird rattle to them. Has it too. But when you get like a full blowback, it doesn't, you don't hear like metal hitting on metal. What about non-blowback? No yeah. magazine, that's heavy. Oh, the non-blowback yeah. ones are always yeah. super heavy. Guys, none of these are actual real at all. They're all either BB gun or airsoft. And we always use them in a safe environment. And when we're shooting them, it's always safe to wear eye protection every time you're firing anything like this. We wouldn't use a BB gun in an airsoft match. If anything, we would have used the airsoft version. Now, we did bring out one canister of CO2. It takes your 12 gram CO2 canisters. We do not want to lose anything, so let's go ahead and keep that stuff there. Let's, let's point them in a safe direction towards the fence or something, okay? We did bring a BB speed loader. I need you to wear some type of eye protection. Which one are you wearing? Install the CO2. And I'm sure with this magazine, you're gonna push it forward and to expose the uh, tightening bolt. So we do use this Gamo air gun oil. We always put a drop right on the tip right there. What does it do? I think it keeps the seal lubricated. Guys, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's exactly what it's supposed to do is keep the uh, seal lubricated. Uh, maybe it shoots some through the inside to kind of help lubricate the barrel. I don't really know. Just one drop. We'll install it right there. Yeah. Nice. It's hissing a lot right now and there. may need to tighten it a little bit more. Fill this up with any BBs. Let me go ahead and install that magazine real quick. Let's dry fire it one time. Probably not. Are we going to do it? Of course, because this is a we review video and we, we only just. Do it once, though. We do only do it once, yeah. Rack that back though, because it might need to be racked back. Now hit the uh, switch. There you go. Did it work? I guess we should have told you that the first time. Safety is lo located underneath the barrel. Yes. So you can see right there for safety. And then you're gonna move it forward for fire until you see the red dot right there. Huh? I like that. Did it even blow back? Yeah. It did? Yeah. Oh yeah, it did. Really fast, nice, okay. Doesn't sound like it's shooting really hard, but Looks can be deceiving. We'll pull the follower spring all the way down, move it over to the side so it holds its position right there. And we're just gonna kind of see if we can't make this work. Oh yes, look. Can you see it? 
get through. And it's not working good because there's an actual magnet right there. As soon as I hit it down, the magnet's grabbing all the BBs. Hopefully you guys can use a BB speed loader. Let's go ahead and grab our target. We're gonna set it over there. We're gonna shoot at this. Look at him. What are you? What are you doing? Huh? All right, so let me go over here. That's what I'm getting. We'll go back outside. Come over here real quick. Hold that. Hey, hey, no firearms downrange. Take that back over there. Number one rule when you're shooting in your built shooting range is no firearms downrange at all. Put that right there. Guys, if any of y'all are new to the channel, thank you and welcome to a Riker's Toy Box. We are building a community. What are we gonna call our community? He wants to say Team Blue. I wanna say Team Red. Team Navy, because I wanna say Team Navy. Them. And we need your guys' help to figure out what we're gonna name our community because we wanna stand out apart from everyone else and we need your guys' help to do it since y'all are here watching. Let's get back over to see how this thing Dude, I'm hearing that hit. It's not shooting really hard, really fast for somebody Riker's age. I actually really, really like that. Because to me, when we shoot the Glock 19s non-blowback, those shoot extremely Whoa. hard. I hit the oh. tag. You hit the tag? Yeah. Or probably not your hit. That might be your hit because some of these are when you shoot your bow at them. Oh, dude, no way. I almost made it. Oh my goodness, dude. In order for me to tell, I gotta take a couple shots, but it's gonna be really embarrassing if I can't hit this as well as Riker can. Let's go. Oh, getting over here to where we shot. I hit in the nine, just like Riker. I hit right here. So the accuracy of this thing is really good. Now, this is not the type of BB gun that you need to take and use for hunting. This is perfect for backyard, plinking, shooting, target practice, whatever you want to call it. Perfect for that, not for hunting. Get your finger out from in front of the barrel. That's a huge no. Don't do that. Do you understand what you just did? Yes, but I forgot. Yes, that is very, very dangerous. So let's shift this back over to fire. And what I wanted to show you was one, the trigger pull and two, the blowback action. Right here, and I'm shooting down into the grass, so it's very safe. But first, the trigger pull. You come all the way back this far. You see that? The BB came out again. So Kai, hold on. Oh. He's so scary. But you pull it back that far, and that's when you start tugging to take the shot. The blowback action is really, really fast. I it looks. It, I think it is just because we're closer. Right, well, and we're more of a side angle because when we were shooting it from behind, it did not seem that strong. So I know we didn't do it in this video, but we have shot green gas versions. We have shot CO2 versions, and we want to know how this compares. What are your thoughts on how it compared to the other Glock models we have? Hey, it was pretty good good accuracy pushing that all is like a nine out of 10. a nine out of ten guys i really like this one would i recommend it of course it was under 100 dollars. i think it's because they don't cheap out and they don't skimp out when it comes to making a glock version of anything are any of these other ones any better or any worse not really it's all your preference and under 18 years old it is highly recommended you use it under adult supervision just like i do with Riker. but this is a great model but if you want to see any other of the glock videos Riker and I have made click on the video right here next to my head and we'll see you there later guys bye